All right, guys, what's going on? Jeremy and the Friends of Backstage Entertainment. Sitting here with none other than Dale from Cedar. Dale, what's going on? How you doing? Good, good. You guys uh, are on a pretty big tour here, I'd say. You guys are with Nickelback, Bush, yourselves, and then, of course, My Darkest Days. Do you remember when you guys were, got the news about being on this tour, kind of what you were doing and how you felt about getting on this tour? Um, yeah, we were stoked to get on the tour. Um, you know, we toured with Nickelback before, so All right. uh, we're good friends with those guys. Um, fans of Bush as well, so, you know, never never actually played with them before, so that, that was another, yeah. um, you know, another plus point. Um, it's a great lineup, you know, it's, right. a, it's a good tour. We knew it would be a big tour. Uh, we get to play for a lot of people and um, uh, kind of a cushy tour as well for us. Uh, right. Um, you know, we have nice dressing rooms every day and, yep. you know, the food's catered for and, um, you know, it's it's been good. Right. It's been a fun tour. Well, good, good. I mean, Talk about the band too. You guys have three members, which you know a lot of rock bands and stuff have four more bands. Is it kind of a blessing, I guess, for three? Because you guys are all good friends, I'm sure, and everything. I mean, and you've had four before. Do you think it's easier to manage with three or four? How does that work? Uh, I think three is definitely a lot easier. Um, yeah. You know, we've we've tried to incorporate guys over the years. Um, you know, in the form of a, a fourth member, you know, a, a, a extra guitar player. Um, and it's never really worked out, you know, it's it's one more body on the bus, you know, yeah. one more opinion, one more, um, you know, set of issues or set of problems, you know, it's uh, uh, me and Sean and, and Johnny, you know, we've been together so long, um, you know, we're like brothers, so, right. you know, it's it's the, the three amigos, you know, I mean, we'll, you know, we'll be together as, you know, as long as people keep coming to the shows, but um, I think we've given up... Uh, you know, trying to add a fourth member. You know, we're just going to go with the three of us now, yeah. and uh, it's been great. You know, I think we've been having more fun as a three-piece. You know, yeah. more more than ever, and uh, I don't think anything's lacking. Um, you know, people seem to enjoy the enjoy the live show, um, right. and we also you know pride ourselves in the fact that you know we three band, uh, you know three guys yeah. in the band, uh, getting up doing our thing. You know, we don't run any kind of uh, tape or backing tracks or anything. So it's like what you see is what you get. Three guys. Yeah. Trying to make as much noise as, as right. humanly possible and, and just having fun with it. You know, so you guys go all out and you do everything on your own and everything, yeah. which is yeah. awesome. Yeah, so. just do our thing. Uh, it's, uh, it's rock, man. Yeah. yeah. Trying yep. to try and keep it real. Talking about the uh, most recent album, uh, back in May of last year, you guys released the newest album, Holding On To Strings, Better Left To Fray. Comparing this album to maybe what you've done in the past, what, what thing do you like better about like this one that you guys have kind of, uh, I guess, progressed with? Um, yeah, I think, you know, each album, I, I feel, uh, is a little bit of a of an improvement on, on the one that came before it. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think, you know, hopefully it's a natural, you know, progression as, as we get better at what we're doing and, and more experienced um, at playing and writing. Um, you know, I, I think the albums reflect that or at least, you know, reflect some sort of maturity. Um, you know, working with Brendan O'Brien is also great. You know, he's such a such a talented producer yeah um, and we, you know we really took our time on this album you know we, we didn't want to just rush something out there just for the sake of you know releasing it um, you know so we it took a little longer than we than we anticipated initially but um, you know I think at the end of the day we're, we're glad we took the time yeah. and, and you know made sure to give every song the attention it needed and yeah. you know make them as good as, as we could and uh, um, the response to the album has been great and you know we yeah. we're we were pretty stoked. Well, yeah, and we've talked to bands before where they've been pressured by the label to m get an album out and everything. And yeah. um, when you can take more of that time, you get something better than what you guys like more. So that's got to make it a lot more of a blessing, too. Well, that's the thing, you know, there's always going to be people who want you out on the road touring because, you know, everyone makes money then. Or, yeah. or um, you know, the label wants to get it out so they can, you know, move units. And, um, you know, and, and that's. You know, perhaps a little short-sighted. I, I think. Yep. You know, I think. Uh, um, you know, and, and you know, we've actually we've done that in the past. You know, we've the our second album that we released in this country. Um, we basically wrote in sound checks on the road touring, yep. um, and basically came off the road long enough to lay those songs down, record them, and then went straight back out. You know, while we started marketing the new album and just kept touring through and. Right. Um, and I mean the album turned out well. I think you know, you know, 
especially for <laughs> you know the the circumstances in which we wrote and recorded it. But yeah. by the end of that, I mean two back-to-back -back touring cycles, just non-stop. We, you know, I mean we're all just you know falling apart, you know, right. physically, mentally. You know, I mean we nearly like imploded as a band at that yeah. at that point, and that's not worth it. You know, this when this ceases to be fun, then, then something's wrong. You know, so. Yeah. Um, fortunately, you know, we're in a position now where we can, you know, take a little bit more time and, right. um, you know, take some time off the road and some time for ourselves and then some time to work on the album. And right. Because so. so, sometimes fans expect you guys to be touring all the time, making albums and everything, when they got to realize, too, you guys are people and you need to just yeah. take your own time. Yeah, you know, and, so. you, know, you know, some of the guys, are, you know, kids and, and you mm -hmm. know, wives and girlfriends and things. and. Um, you know, you, you need to try and keep that side of your life, right. you know, together as well, you know, as well as, as the band and, and the touring side. So you you got to find that balance. Exactly. Well, let's do a couple of these. We have had uh, fans like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook. You guys can do the same. You guys can get questions into our BSC box, we call it. So, uh, Dale, I don't know if you've done anything before like this, but you're just drawing some questions that fans have submitted. So we have some crazy ones in here, too. So we'll see what you get. Let's see. Is it a good one? Ask someone else in the interview a would you rather question. Oh, so you have to ask me one. <laughs> you can okay. do that one or you want. Okay, you got, you got one? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> would you rather make out with Betty White hmm. or Angela Lansbury? You know, I would probably say Betty White. <laughs> you really have to think about that one too. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, let's see. <laughs> Betty White, she's got it going on though. I mean, she's, she does. You know, she's getting up there in age, but she's still kicking it. So, yeah. you know, just hosting Saturday Night Live not too long ago and just, just still out in the scene. She's almost better than she's ever been. I think. She's a gilf. Great. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't good even good know, gilf. I don't even know what the terms are. <laughs> yeah, we'll it's say like, good, good gilf. <laughs> yeah, it's a like Google gilf. <laughs> All right, let's try one more. Sure. Okay. Have you ever done anything with a another band member, significant <laughs> other, you, that you regret? Uh, I told you we have crazy ones in there. No, I actually haven't. Aside from maybe just drinking too much and yeah, just hitting on them and, and stuff like that. Well, no, but <laughs> you know, feeling sick the next day. Uh, yeah. Say I'm guilty of that. I sometimes you know get a little too tipsy and you're hitting on other people. My wife's right behind the camera. For those of you that don't know, so <laughs> this is a brave, brave yeah, man. Exactly. Exactly. So brave man. She knows who wears the pants in relationship, though. <laughs> nice. She's oh, shaking man. her head behind there. <laughs> All right. I think we both know who it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, how do you hope to connect with your fans through your music? Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, Cause you know, you've probably had some people come up to you, you know, after shows and stuff, say, "Hey, you really got me through some tough times." You know, you, are you trying to connect your fans like that and just trying to get your positive message out there, or are you just the guys doing what you love? Yeah, I think you know, we just we just do what we love. Um, you know, I think lyrically, you know, people really identify with Sean's lyrics. Yep. Um, because it's uh, it's open for interpretation. You okay. know, and I think you know he writes in such a way to where people can. Um, you know, know what he's trying to say or the feeling he's trying to convey, but relate that to something, you know, within their own lives. So, you know, as a result, you know, we, we get a lot of people, you know, coming up to, you know, at shows saying, oh, you know, thank you so much, you know, you guys helped me, you know, I was, I was really depressed, you know, I was contemplating suicide or, right. you know, I was really sick and the song got me through and, and, and that stuff's great. You know, that, yeah. That's that's really, that's really special when people, um, you get such a positive, yeah. You know, positive, uh, you know, message from the music, and uh, it's cool. You know, yeah. you're out here doing what you love, but in return, you get fans that yeah. you know appreciate what you're doing, and it helps them. Sure, so yeah. that's good. Hopefully, no one takes uh, an equally, um, you know, powerful message, but <laughs> it's just the other way. Yeah. So, yeah, um, <laughs> but you know, I guess to each their own. Right. Okay. Well, lastly, for the fans, is what do you kind of want to leave them with? I mean, of course, go buy the album, holding on to strings, better left to fray. Definitely go sure. check that out if you haven't. But what else do you want to tell them? Uh, I guess just thanks for uh, you know supporting us for all right. these years and uh, allowing us to you know do what we do, play music every yeah. day, and and uh, you know make a living, you know doing what we love, and 
you know, supporting us coming to the shows and and being patient in between uh, right. in between albums when we choose to you know take our time making them. So well, hopefully they appreciate it a little more because you guys are trying to get your music out there the way you want it to. So if they if they take a little time, just wait. <laughs> right, they're doing their best. Hurry up and wait. That's right. <laughs> Exactly. Well, guys, once again, we have Dale from Seether. Definitely go check him out if you haven't yet. Hey, everyone. Make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.